Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. Okay, the basic introduction to probability. We're talking about an experiment that's some sort of activity with an observable outcome. The sample space, you're gonna hear a lot of things about sample space, that's all possible outcomes and an event. So sometimes it's called event, sometimes it's called the outcome. It's just one or more possible outcomes. So outcome is even part of that word. Okay, so if you're flipping a coin, the sample space is just heads or tails and one of the events could be heads. Flipping two coins, now this is one that students sometimes get wrong because we have two heads. You could flip heads and then tails you could flip tails and then heads. Sometimes students think that's one event. It's actually two, because think of it as a penny and a quarter, and the penny could land on heads and the quarter could be tails, or the penny could be tails and the quarter could be heads. Or you could think of it as an order thing, first heads, then tails, or first tails, then heads. It's two different events, or tails, tails. So we have four different elements in our sample space. So one event would be having heads come up twice. If we roll a 10 sided die, our sample space are the outcomes one through 10. We can have rolling an even. So in this case, our event is more than one outcome because rolling an even, that's half of the possible outcomes, two, four, six, eight, or 10. So if we wanted the sample space of rolling a six sided die, we do curly brackets. You can think of curly brackets as doing like a regular bracket with when a bird hit it in the middle and there's that little beak. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our full sample space. And then rolling a multiple of three is just three and six. Okay, so that is experiment. That's how we're defining it. The sample space and the event. So let's look at an example of this. Okay, so your sample space is the number between 0 and 16 inclusive. That means we're including 0 and 16. So if we write out our sample space, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I need to list out all these numbers out loud. I'm sure you all can count. Did I leave enough room? Yes. 15, 16. Okay, there we go. Curly brackets and everything. Write out the event that the number is odd. One, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15. Okay. Write out the event that the number is a multiple of four. Zero, zero is a multiple of four. Zero, four, eight, 12, and 16. All right, and now write out the event that the number is prime. So, Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one in themselves. So one, two. Two is the only even one. So if we, four can't be prime, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16, because those are all multiples of two, three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15 are all multiples of three. We already knocked out four, but we now have five. Let's see, five, 10, 15, six, seven. Say eight, nine, 10, 11, 13. Fun fact, when you're um, doing a list of numbers and knocking out primes, you only have to go to the square root before you've hit all of them. So once we got to four, I knew we had hit all of the numbers that needed to be knocked out and everything that didn't have an X under it was indeed prime. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.